I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. Smashing day for it. On holiday? No. Oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, but I don't fear that. No one injured, at least. No apparent damage to the cars. Young fool must lead a charmed life. That's the lot. My money's on the servants. The servant's usually always the guilty one in the end. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the Harbour Master. Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone, then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. Blimey. It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerikos. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you then. Seas calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now, there's a squall coming. I can smell it. Why is it called Shipwreck Island? Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts. And that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals call it Ship Rock. You're not from around these parts, then, Mr. Naraka? No, sir. I'm not. It'll never work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house.
Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narricot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. chance of returning to the mainland now. Lit! Well, this island isn't as primitive as I imagined. Mr. Narakot, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank you. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. Fresh flowers. Quite pretty. It's an albatross. I can't say I'm particularly fond of the painting. The subject matter doesn't interest me. Interesting painting. Birds don't appeal to me, but someone here certainly fancies them. is locked. An upstairs-downstairs type of thing, I imagine.
You're short, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. May I ask you a question? You'll spoil the shot if you're not careful. May I interrupt for a moment? Please, Mr. Narakot. This is a time for concentration, not conversation. Not that I'd want to play, even if there was time. I've no talent for the game whatsoever. I can't open it. It's locked. It's tightly locked. It would certainly be noticed if I rifled through his luggage. I better not. A radiator. You can't have enough of them, really. This clock has stopped. Once a bent copper, always a bent copper. Right, Fred? You're talking through your hat. You were the Purcell gang's inside man on the force, not my brother. Brother, don't try to kid me, Fred. There's still a handsome reward out for you. Fred is my brother. I'm Patrick Fane. No reason for me to believe you that I can see. There's still a big reward out for Fred Fane. You scuttled my boat to trap me here. You recognized me too. I saw it in your eyes. Only because Davis showed Fred the passenger list yesterday. I came in my brother's place. We didn't think you might mistake me for him. Fred is eight years older than me. Look closely, Blore. You do look young. I noticed that. Thought it must be the sea air. You were taking the Purcells bribes for years. After the Landor case, people began to ask questions. The Purcells needed what the Yank detective novels call a fall guy. My brother was framed. You were in the clear. Your whole story sounds like a detective novel. I've never stopped trying to clear Fred's name and put you in Dartmoor prison where you belong. Thanks to your greed, I may now have that chance. Maybe you're Patrick, maybe you're Fred. I don't know, and I don't much care. You're either a criminal, or you've been harboring one all these years. I wonder what my fellow guests will think of that. Go on, Mr. Narricot. Hop it. I need to prepare for dinner. Leave before I remove you myself. <laughs> 